KCRG.com. Welcome back. We are taking questions now from Dr. Dave. Who do we have here? Hi, this is Daisy. She's a two-year-old spayed female chihuahua. She's a, a really nice little dog. Is she'll, she a, she'll lick your lips. Is she adoptable? She is not adoptable. She is a, a client's dog, and she's a, a superstar at our practice, so she came here to be a superstar on TV today. All right. Well, I understand we have our first question from Jennifer in Cedar Rapids about her cat. Go ahead, Jennifer. I guess uh, my cat likes to chew things, everything in sight, and the main thing is electrical cords, and I was wondering if there's anything I could do to curb that. Well, the, um, the best advice is to try to keep the electrical cords taped up on the wall so that um, she won't chew them. Uh, cats, it, you're not going to curb that behavior. The best advice is to keep pl poisonous plants away. Um, uh, give your kitty some substitution. It's, you can buy growable grass at the pet shop called um, Kitty Greens. And cats love to chew on grass, and you can give her something uh, substitutable that is okay to chew on, and that way, uh, and then keep the, the unsafe things away from her. It, there's just nothing you can put on that's going to work to keep her from chewing. Well, I understand now that the weather is changing and everything, we're going to have a lot of different activities to do with our pets. Any advice for people? Well, uh, number one, remember that your dog, who has been sedentary all winter long, is uh, kind of like me, um, don't go out and overdo it the first time on a long walk. You're going to need to work up the exercise routine for your dog just like you would yourself. Uh, we have coming up the March of Dimes Walkathon, and it's not unusual that people will bring their dog out for the first time of the year and walk 15 miles in one day, and the, and the dog hasn't done that all winter long. So don't forget that your dog's going to need to work up um, the exercise just like you would. You, you just can't go from zero to marathon. You've got to work up as you go. And also, don't forget that it, fleas and ticks are of a concern now, and if you haven't been applying the flea prevention, now's the time to start. I understand we're talking next to Angela, and she has a kind of smelly problem with two kittens. Okay. Go ahead, Angela. Hi, I have two kittens. One's three months old, and one's seven to eight months old, and they both have excessive gas, and it's horrible smelling. Is there anything I can yeah. give them to get well, rid of that? Well, talk to your veterinarian about the proper diet. Uh, generally speaking, in kittens, after they convert from, the, from mother's milk to, to, food, to hard food, there can be a problem with that. Usually, if they're on the right food after a period of time, that corrects itself. So the best advice I can give is to try to be on the right kind of kitten food as prescribed by your veterinarian and give it some time and it'll probably work itself out. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Dave, and thank you to Daisy, right? Thanks, Daisy. <laughs> All right. Well, we will, uh, coming up tomorrow, psychologist Dick Sockwell is answering your mental health questions. Stay with your 24-hour news.